bad if you didn't hear. So there's workers that are trying to fix it. Um, but Xing, the bus driver, <laughs> said it'll probably be like one hour. Who are you honking at? What do you think we're gonna do? stayed last night. Actually, we stayed in that little place last night and now we're on our way to get food. I have a good one. Never have I ever owned a dog. Oh, wow. Dang it. Oh, wait, that's... <laughs> Never have I ever owned a cat. <laughs> It's going awesome. Yeah. The roads are paved. Well, Hallelujah. And we just stopped for the bathroom, so I'm good. Too much. So if you're ever considering doing the world race, just know you might go in one of these guys. Oh yes. This is what you have to look forward to. Losing air. We're losing air so fast. Too bad. We're also at 13.4, so feet, feet, feet off. Thousand feet. Thirty-four point. Wait, thirteen. Thirteen point four thousand feet. <laughs> Do you have any advice for future world racers? No, I just had a little gas and I felt it, and I didn't want to bother everyone in there, so I just needed to get some stretching. Oh my gosh, I feel so dizzy. We are at a higher elevation than even Mount Everest Base Camp. So we're all pretty short of breath. It's beautiful though. It's like it's just like it's like desolate, but it's just so pretty. Tibet is so nice. The roads are smooth, the tea is warm, and the noodles are fried. It's a mug of butter. It's a melted into tea called butter tea. Oh wow. Oh wow. Since you said oh wow, I really like it now. Oh, guys, that's really <laughs> Oh, is it bad? <laughs> <laughs> it was really bad. I oddly <laughs> liked it, but I didn't. It tastes like somebody took a stick of butter and very small amount of water. Yeah, there's probably some water. I'm a nice pair of shitty underwear. Woo! I'm standing there, just peeing, okay? And I'm standing there peeing. You know when you kind of pee, like everything kind of relaxes? Well, apparently it relaxed too much. And I just start. Pooping. I'm looking over at JD. I'm like, oh, and he goes, what? And I was like, dude, I'm, I'm shitting my pants. <laughs> and he's like, what? And I was like, yeah, man, I don't know what to do. Hold on, I'm in this bathroom. I have to take out my pants fully, so I am now naked from the waist down. I mean, it's, it's gonna be a good day. Like Wonderful travel day. And it cost two yen to go to the bathroom here, no. right? So I went to the side of the building and went to the bathroom for free. It's all of our backpacks. Nice. Yeah, we're gonna do world race budget. Did you see the baby goat? We are on our way to Lhasa. There we're gonna stay for two days. See the Patala Palace and Parker 
across the street. So that should be fun. We went all the way up to like over 17,000 feet in elevation and a lot of people weren't feeling good. But now that we're down to like 12,000, a lot of people are feeling a lot better. So that's awesome, praise God. And just a fun bus ride, just seeing the sights and the views and it's like so pretty here. It like reminds me a lot of the uh, Southwest United States. Yeah. get to walk into stretches. Our toilet. Etiquette? Perhaps go in like a shady area slash down slope so drivers don't drive by and get distracted by the shiny lights. Uh -huh. Don't pee on your feet. And a trick to not peeing on your feet is finding like a rock and setting your butt against it, peeing that way, because if I do this, it goes down my legs, you see. <laughs> So if I do this way, like crab style, go straight down and don't pan a rock because it shoots back up at your face. That's why I have her go You're good, aren't you? Two more. So you got like 30 minutes worth of footage. And they got this one. Yeah. Go and tell else. You're always scratching something. I just had a nosebleed, so my nose is really dried out. Mm. Yeah, so you want to like touch it some more because it's gonna bleed some more. Oh, that's really oh HD. So we made it to Lhasa, and then we're gonna go do the toury things. Oh, I gotta shut this door. Do the toury things tomorrow. Our room kind of smells like cigarette smoke, so bunch of oil spray. <laughs> I have walked China. I got some bubble tea. The roads are nice. They drive on the right side of the road. Um, their soups are good. Their yak is good. And look at these cute bills. <laughs> Keep you updated, Mom. Don't worry. I think Tibet is beautiful. I don't know what else to say about it besides it's beautiful. Um, definitely the strongest language barrier we've had so far on the race. Do you guys have your passports with you? <coughs> yes. Yeah, if not, you need to go to your room. Also, if you have water with you, you can't take that in with you. And it's not that far, so you probably don't want to be carrying the water with you. I'm walking like the green man. Breakfast, <laughs> farm. How do you feel being back in the motherland? It feels great. I can communicate in both tongues. It's a good day to be back. <laughs> um, to, shoot, uh, it's a palace. I was gonna say castle. This is where, historically, the Dalai Lama would house. I think they said in the winter, but he hasn't been here for many, many oh. years. Four two seven. She is the mafan, big trouble. Big <laughs> no, trouble. he said I'm pretty. That's what he said. Our coach is on the race with us. Yeah, he's Love on my you. team. He can hear our problems in I person. Take it off my coach <laughs> We're gonna do one on ones every day. We'll just verbally tell you our journey. We only have three. <laughs> In the 17th century, not a lot is big. It's a small part. And after 17th century, the fifth parallel of the view rebuked to the present site. Here we are inside the courtyard of the Patel Palace. This guy is explaining something, but not in my language, so I don't understand. I'm telling you what now, they have like really nice flowers here. Wow, just look at these flowers. Wow. I'm not in shape for this. Check this out. Plaza. At 12,000 feet. Come on, get you. Go to Patel Palace, they said. They didn't tell me about the stairs. You know? They can put in security cameras, but they can't they can't put in an escalator. You know, or an elevator. 
This is the last bit I can photograph before we go into the palace. Any last words, Erica? No. It's the hour over yet. <laughs> So we went inside the palace, it's pretty great. I'm using my ticket now as a visor because the sun here is really intense. You probably can't see my face. It was like really smoky and they had like these big old shallow vats like on a stand and it was full of like yak butter and like it was, they all had like wicks hanging out of it and it was like burning. So it smelled a lot like butter, but then they were also burning incense and then some monks were praying, and then some monks were smoking, some were looking at Facebook. <laughs> Which, how can they do that? Because Facebook's blocked in China. It's pretty on the outside. Inside it was just hard to breathe and not very pleasant. Very cool architecture though. Like they had like a bunch of like intricate designs and stuff cut into the wood, and it was a lot of fun. We are in this area called Barker. This strip right here, you can typically see people uh, doing sun salutations all the way around. Uh, a tour guide I met yesterday named Victor told me that there was a person that did 2,000 of these prostrating moves around this thing and it took them six months. So now we are all going to split up and go to our different parts of China and it's going to be good. I hope you enjoyed the video and got to see a bit more of Tibet, a place not many people have had a chance to see. So yeah, until next time, bye!